Hi guys, this is Gamble here. Um, well, I've decided to buy Wildstar, and my first impressions are pretty good. Uh, the game seems good, you know. Um, it, it was launched about a month ago, and I bought it about a week ago. And my first impressions, yeah, I like the game. I will give it a go. Um, I'm a very big PvP fan, and I decided to choose Stalker for this reason. Um, I love to duel, I love 1v1s, I love doing war zones purely for the fact that I get to fight people, not for the win. I've never cared about that. I've only cared about leaving oppression. I'm very vain. Um, well, I picked Stalker. Right. One, I like to hunt. Um, I can't see me doing that on any other class, but Stalker's got stealth and that's great. Um, two, I also played the thief in Guild Wars 2 and it gave me the feel. You know, I loved hunting, I loved dueling, I loved scenarios, war zones, everything, uh, and I like living in oppression, and this sort of class, yeah, I can figure people would be quite annoyed and pissed off at me, so yeah. Um, straight away, let's look at my setup and what I think. Um, I'm low level, I'm level 21, you know, I've been playing a week, I'm sorry, uh, I don't power level, I play it slow, I work, I have kids, blah blah blah. Um, okay, um, I've done a few war zones, and it only took one or two to figure out what I was doing wrong and what ability setup I need to focus on. Um, straight away as you can see I've got Cripple, Impale, Punish, Stagger, Tactical Retreat, Pounce and Tether Mines. Um, I didn't like Shred, uh, it was gr it's great in PvE lovely I like it but in PvP I felt it was shit when I go into a fight I figured out straight away that if they're full life after my quick burst rotation I can't really kill them so um, maybe an end game when I've unlocked the other abilities I want to use for this sort of situation um, I may do better but at the moment um, I don't feel like I can win many 1v1s with full health unless they're, you know, quite gimped, new, or haven't got the instincts I have in a fight. If they're equally as skilled as me, I mean, I would on any other class, if I played myself, I would always beat myself. Um, yeah, so I picked Cripple because I like it, um, it does good damage, and I like to go into a fight when they're half life and kill them. And I stealth, impale, 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 punish. I don't like this ability, but at the moment I'm using it because I haven't unlocked the stuff I want. I stagger, and then after I stagger, I've got a couple of seconds to get three cripples off. By this time, they should be dead. If they're not dead, then they're going to die soon because I will kill them. Um, in a big fight, I like to get a couple of people I don't like the look of who are at the back lines, they're giving it all that range crap. I don't like range players because I find them just to be pushovers and pussies and they don't really know how to play the game in a PvP focused mind. Or they know more than me and they're doing something right. But yeah, I like to bully range. Um, so I would always run in there, scare the crap out of them, get into half-life, pretend I'm going to fight them more, but I actually run off and leg it. I run away, because I know they're going to win. Um, hopefully they haven't healed up. When I'm fully stacked in my, with my uh, uh, rotation, you know, I've got enough um, suit power to do another burst, uh, I'll go in there and kill them. You know, I'll go and finish them off. But yeah. Um, how I find the game is uh, Stalker, you know, it has a couple of a few ways you can spec into it on damage, you can go AoE, you can go tactical, like range sort of playstyle, you know, group friendly, tank, and ninja. Well I've picked ninja, I don't like AoE because I don't care about the DPS meter. It doesn't bother me if I'm bottom. All I care about is getting my blood, you know, I care about having a really really good fight even if it was camped in the corner and me and this guy dueled for an hour I would be so satisfied that is lovely uh, people usually hate me in war zones but they also love me when I'm I decide to be nice and 
protect the territory we need to protect, you know. So it depends on the mood I'm in, if I want to hunt or if I want to play very, very tactical for the match or my friends and just defend the little area and I'll mark it as my territory. Um, yeah, it seems like it's a class that's going to be very good later on when I've unlocked the abilities I want to unlock. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are yet because I like to try them out and mess things around before I show you what I like and what I'm going to be using. Um, it would probably be the same as every other stalker at level 50 because hopefully they're smart enough to use the same shit as I do because they realise what is good and what is bad. Um, if you're using Shred then in PvP then you are a noob or you're very smart because you're playing in a pre-made of 5 people and you're having long long fights because you've got a focus healer. That's great, use it. If you're not, you haven't got a focus healer and you're a ninja, get rid of your shreds. It took me 5 seconds to realise it's useless. If it's taken you 5 weeks then you should not play your class, you should change your class <laughs> because it is shit. Um, I don't like CC in this game, so that's why I use Tactical Retreat. It also gives me a stealth, you know, but I only ever use it when I'm, you know, in a situation where I think, shit, I want to tactically retreat, you know. Um, stealth is very overpowered, please sort that out. Game makers, because um, CC um, is pissing me off. Uh, there's no cooldown between CC, you can just CC me, then CC me, and then CC me. I don't understand why there isn't an implemented two, three, four second cooldown between the time you could be CC'd again. That seems fair. They've done it in many, many other MMO PvP games, so why haven't you? It sucks being a stalker, and that happens, you know. Um, I found range really overpowered, but also I find them quite easy to kill um, because. Being a stalker, you've got the element of surprise, they feel safe, they're so focused on what's ahead of them that when you're spanking them up the arse, they kind of panic and you've got them down to half life before they react, uh, or they're already in half life and they're dead. So I don't really mind range. Um, yeah, uh, another, uh, well, another tip. Always look around what's around you. Don't run into a fight. If they're full. They're half life, and they're in the middle of a zerg. Leave them be. <laughs> you know, you're not there to die. You're there to you're there to kill. So pretend it's real life and kill when you. It's the best opportunity. You know. Um, as I said, I've only done a few war zones, so I'm still pretty shit. I'm not actually very good yet. Um, I've been very very good. Uh, Probably one of the best in the EU on, on my thief in Guild Wars 2, so I know how good I can get after a lot of focus has been put into the game. Um, but I'm the first to admit when I am currently shit, and at the moment I am shit, but this is good because it means you can see where I am levelling up in my future videos, how I am improving, you can see where I do bad here. And maybe in video 10 you can see where I dominate there and you maybe you'll think, ah, oh, how did you figure that out? How did you improve there? And I will tell you. Uh, I will tell you exactly what I figured out helped that situation and hopefully it would help you figure it out too. Um, please uh, become fans or, and please don't troll because if you're not interested then you know, watch another video, there's no point trolling. Um, also, um, in things I do, please leave tips, you know, if you find something better. Um, but if you find an overpowered spec, don't tell me what it is because I love to figure these things out for myself as I like to feel like it's always my spec and not some spec I've wikied up. Um, so never tell me something you figured out which is amazing tell me something you figured out which I'm already doing so if I'm using pounce wrong you know um, I use it at the moment to get someone 
to stun someone and also to run away and also as a little speed buff to get to A to B. If you figured out some kind of other way to use it, say in combat um, or anything like that, this is an example, please tell me. I know I'm using Tether Mind, I'm level 21 and I haven't unlocked anything really really good which I want to use yet so at the moment it's okay, I very rarely use it but sometimes I like to use it when I'm trying to run away so but um, it's not something I can see being very good later on uh, because I'll be losing something else that's better so and also I won't be using this uh, I don't plan or want to use that level 50 I'm sure it looks good it does exactly what it says on the tin but I already kind of figured out another thing I'm going to use instead which is going to benefit me more for my playstyle um, well I'm going to post the, the first video I fraps after this uh, I'm going to queue now I won't record the whole queue but um you know, enjoy the video. I'm not going to talk really in the fight. Um, maybe I might figure out how you record over after after recording. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, but please, if you know how to do stuff on fraps, say my quality on when I played Guild Wars 2 was really bad. I'm not the best on computers, so if there's anything you can leave that can give me some kind of advice on this sort of thing then yeah please please uh, please leave that information below um, that would be fantastic well I'm gonna skip a minute here Exiles have picked up a Moody Mask. 
The exiles have dropped a moody mask. The exiles have picked up a moody mask. are close to victory. Dominion have picked up a Moody Mask. Is it me, or did you just get even sexier? Not even close. See, like, when you do focus target, even if you feel like you're in a fight quite a lot, your damage on Stalker's always going to be low, but 
then again, like, my gear's not the best for 21, I've got like level 10 gear, and I feel like my da damage is going to be maybe even twice as better when I get the um, next two abilities I want. Um, and also having the best gear for your level also helps. Um, but I feel without using one or two AoE abilities, I don't think that I'm ever going to be on Stalker top DPS. Although I have before in a Warzone seen a Stalker who was top DPS, but unfortunately they were top with about 200k damage and I've done that before so but I wasn't top when I done it um, so I don't know but I mean if there's a single target spec out there I don't think I use it if it's purely damage focused because I'll be losing too much but I feel like if I was in a pre-made I would probably get rid of a couple of things maybe my stuns um, maybe my cripple and I will focus on more AoE sort of style abilities. There's one I really really liked, I thought the damage was very good and that was this one. It was very good. Um, it's tier 8, it looks like it would be very very good damage. If you are willing to sacrifice something later on, um, just to get the more killing hits, a bit more damage all rounds. Um, and also you like the DPS meter to say your name on the top I would say put tier 8 points into that replace it patiently like I like to do or hunt someone you know so you probably wouldn't want Things like this, you wouldn't want your pounce, and you most certainly wouldn't want to ever, to ever mind. So, yeah, you probably would want to switch it for the AOE. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I'm sorry that I talk quite a lot. Uh, I do ramble shit, um, and people have never in any of my videos enjoyed what I actually have to talk about, but they have. Um, enjoyed my videos in that sense of the PvP so um, that was probably my fifth or sixth now I would say sixth Warzone um, I'm still learning a lot but it didn't take me to figure out that I should be a lot more patient with my class and if I spent ten minutes or even five minutes just waiting for the opportunity to kill someone it can turn the fight I mean all them healers at the end were stacking up they were, you know, ready to push in. I use my tether. I, 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 I like to, you know, my landmine. I like to, you know, keep some rooted. It, it confused them a little bit. Um, they knew I was there, so they hang back to protect the other, the other range. And it did help the fight. I, you know, it might not have done. You know, the others might have just would have dominated without me. But I felt like. I help the fight and I know people around will, won't notice it because I'm bottom DPS they won't even see me on the fight um, and they've probably thought that was useless um, I wasn't trying to kill the guy with the totem thing I wasn't trying to get the totem thing so in their eyes I'm not worth having in the war zone but in my eyes I feel like my hunting and choosing my targets and also annoying them contributed uh, ni nicely to get the win so you know um, anyway stay tuned let me know also link your your videos I think maybe with this game I might watch other people's videos because I wouldn't mind comparing skills rotations um, but link me videos where you're not showing me your Atoma setup um, and where you've put points because I don't want to see and then think that's amazing and then copy and then be stuck with a spec that I know I didn't create um, although I know that it's impossible for me being the one that created it because I'm joining quite late and they've probably already been all made by now but 
you know, for my own satisfaction, I like to feel like I created it. So, anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting more videos, but unfortunately, um, I know I'm going to get trolled for talking too much, so I probably won't talk as much in my next videos. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned. Um, I'll make one probably once a week. Um, as I get up the next tiers, you know, when I'm probably level 28, I'll make one maybe level 30, level 35, 40, and of course many, many, many when I'm level 50. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking it to the end, and take care.